Toastmasters. If I were to tell you at the beginning of a journey that only 4% of those that attempt the journeys complete it, would you take the first step? What if I were to tell you that the tools that you would use, the map and the compass for this journey, is over 100 years old? Does that give you any more confidence to take the first step? How about I give you the magic phrase, you cannot fail on this journey, because the magic phrase is, on my honor, I will do my best. Each year, thousands of boys and their families take that first step on the journey, in a journey we call the Trail to Eagle where only 4% of those that start complete. Using the Scout Oath and the Scout Law as the map and the compass, guidelines that are over 100 years old and are as relevant today as they were in 1911. The completed journey can take as long as 12 years or as few as two years. I've actually seen a young man join scouting at 16 and make eagle before he hit 18. Can be done that quickly, it's a tough haul. But regardless of whether the journey is completed or not, the impact on the well-being, the civic engagement, and the character of these youth have a lasting impact on society that we, as caring adults, should really take note of. In the study Merit Beyond the Badge, done by Baylor University with the support of Templeton Foundation, they found that men that had been involved in scouting, and particularly Eagle Scouts, have a significant positive impact on the world around them. Now there is lots of anecdotal evidence of the great things that Scouts do, the Scout projects that replant the rim fire, or put in new playgrounds at uh, child care centers, or go out to uh, homes for the elderly and sing at Christmas time, or interact with their adopted grandma or grandpa. We all have heard of those things. But now we've got this study, it's actually 77 pages long, and they asked numerous people both involved in scouting, not eagles, eagles, and then those that had not been in scouting at all. A number of different questions. They found that from holding leadership positions in their workplace and neighborhood, to voting, to volunteering to protect the environment, and being prepared for emergencies, Eagle Scouts are 87% more likely to belong to a civic organization, and 78% more likely to be involved in leadership at some level in their community. In addition to that, in terms of preparedness, the Boy Scout motto after all is be prepared, Scouts are 124% more likely than non-Scouts to have a family emergency plan in place that includes the equipment, the gear, the food, and the water necessary to survive 72 hours without the veneer of civilization and ATMs to help them out. 124%. So if you've got a scout in your neighborhood, figure out who they are because they'll have the food and the water in case the levees break. So let's return to the journey. Because our focus really shouldn't be on the 4% that complete. What about those 96%? Are they failures? No, not at all. Scouting is a hands-on program, and every step on the path that these young men and their families take is progress in citizenship, in physical fitness, and in character. Things like trustworthiness, kindness, courteousness. All of these activities are hands-on because our, all our boys, pretty much, they're experiential learners. They want their hands-on things. They're learning to build, they're learning skills. How to sew a button on, how to tie a tie. How to organize a project that puts a 
tarp up over seating area in a swim center at their local high school so that the people that come out to see them compete have place in the shade during our Sacramento summers. Scouts learn leadership skills, starting with leadership of self, self-discipline, and again, every step on that journey, they learn to delay their own gratification. They learn to communicate, to reach out to people that they don't know, to ask for help, how to be a leader and how to be a team player when it's necessary. It's not only the scouts that are on this journey. It's also the organization as a whole. Scouting wasn't fully integrated, for example, until 1974, over 10 years after the passing of the Civil Rights Act. Most recently, just last year in July, the scouting organization voted to change its policy regarding homosexual leaders and employees. So it is necessary on the journey for all of us to work together, whether it be the youth that we're supporting or the organization itself to maintain its relevance as we move forward in time. Truth be told, my friends, the journey never ever ends. And the journey is the success. Thank you so much.